in then, then you have to admit maybe Ryan 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 no the most important thing if you write the name then enter. press enter then you have to choose what is the type adult of the patient child. is it adult child and neonate because everyone has different mm, type uh, of yes. alarm limits okay maybe I'm neonate then yes okay I okay am. then admit okay okay my name is right here oh. if you want to go out of the space just press anywhere mm -hmm. so okay. if you will use this one for another patient you just have to do discharge and then admit a new patient oh. discharge, discharge just menu admit, admit the discharge just mm -hmm. discharge. Mm -hmm. discharge but this uh, the patient Sarah is saved there or no no it's you gonna be saved save, uh, for 120 mm. As long as it's admitted, mm -mm. if you discharge, uh, it's mm -hmm. gonna. Um, but if it's connected to the central station, yes. as the ones that you ah. will get, it will be saved in the central station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, central mm -hmm. station connected to the nurse station. Yeah, yeah, it's connected to the station, station. The central station. Is and there. also, you can. What you can do also on the other ones, it has something called the interpret function. Mm. The interpret function for the other ten that we you purchased, there is something here in the menu, but right now you don't have it. It's something in here called the interpret function. You can see all the patients mm. connected to the network with the same monitor and you see the vital for them. So you don't mm. have to go to patient number one to see, see what is the alarm that he has. Yeah. Mm. From bit number five, you can check what yeah, is the, really what's nice. wrong with that. But it will be available here? Yeah. Oh, that's mm. the purchase ah. number eight. Kaya, 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 kaya. Is it wireless or need uh, network? Yes, network. Plan, yeah. 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 Um, so also here you can set the lab limits as well. Yeah, here you have many types of review. You can see it here and here as well. So you have uh, multiple ways to get to it. Like maybe you have the trend table. You can see all the parameters that you want for the same patient. Maybe you want to set up. I can choose up to 15 parameters that mm. I want to see for this patient. And you can just go this one, maybe number 10, there is nothing on it. Press just a number one, uh, number you 10. Then I want maybe temperature. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then, or none. If I want like SpO2, press X, mm. and then number 10 is SpO2. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have the NIPP table. Like but there's basically mm -hmm. nothing because it's not connected. Trend the graph. It's gonna show you the ECG wave and everything. Recall if there is any recall happened on the patient or oh, there the is Google a cloud or everything. For this closure, it's gonna show you the ECG if there is any arrhythmia that happened to the patient. And if there is arrhythmia, you can just press on the specific time. It's gonna be different. You, you can just have one. Oh, okay. Alarm. Alarm. Alarm history for all the alarms that happened to the. Oh, okay. Maybe so this uh, monitor record. is very far away from you, mm -hmm. and you want to keep an eye on the patient, but you don't have central station, and mm -hmm. you don't want to come again and again. Just go to menu. There is something called large numerics. Mm. From far away, you can see yeah, you all can see. the. Yeah. From yeah. there. Yeah, you can see. It's very clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And if you ah, just yeah, and if yeah, you want to go back, sorry, sorry. yeah, if you want to go just back, just press anywhere like. Oh, and okay. goes back. This here for the NIPP. If you want to start NIPP, you just have to press start and then stop. It's not gonna turn on now. Maybe you want to every like half an hour, fifteen minutes. You can just go for the NIPP interpret. Press, then you can choose. Mm, many maybe everyone else. also you can go from here press an IPP and you can see measurement interval I just set it to one hour maybe I want to change five minutes or manual I don't want you to measure I repeat to. yeah then X whatever you do and you do X it's gonna be saved automatically even if we save it on the simulation mode it's gonna be saved on the monitor so. mm. This is oh, the alarm silence. Ah. Yeah. If you have any alarm, you just press it. Press it. Okay. 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 Ok
So basically, this is the main. This is our new ventilator. Okay. Uh, new vent. Vet. It has a build. Uh, it has a separate co air compressor. Air so no need to plug in the wall. We have the air air outlet. No need because this already has its own compressor. You only have to put uh, a plug in the oxygen. Yeah. External monitor. We have the patient circuit with the filter. This is the filter. Patient circuit, inspiration and expiration. Make sure the, the blue, this one, inspiration. Inspiration. Up. Yeah, up. This is inspiration. Ah, so symbol. the blue one. The blue color. Yes. Expiration. Oh, okay. Expiration, the, the white one. Yeah, with the filter. With the filter. filter and the, okay, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It also have a feature of, of auto CO2. Auto yeah. or yeah. Oxygen saturation. Mm. So, let's start. The touch screen. Exit first. Hi. 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 Okay. So certificate of loving bata is sama na rin kita. Ayos, salamat. <laughs> Hindi ko kasi maintindahan yung mga sulat eh. Kaya sabi ko email na lang para email mas klaro. Mm -hmm. Baka mga mailagay ko doon, ano, ibang pangalan. Ulit-ulit. Mm. <laughs> Basta na, busy-busy. <laughs> okay. So, salamat, sir. Okay, salamat. Uh, Tapusin ko lang. Tuntakin mo na lang. Oh, ako, oh, message, message lang. So, turn it on. Yes. So, turn it on. Bye. Press this button until you see the white screen. Okay. Every day, before using the machine, you have to prepare. Post muna. <laughs> yes. So, okay. Uh, we do have this. This is the uh, Utah's ventilator. Manufacturing is the Utah. The model name is UN. Okay. This is the manufacturing Utah. This is the uh, model name. UN. This is the uh, turbine base model. It's having inbuilt turbine for the air supply. Okay. That one have the compressor for the air supply, another model. Ah, yes, that one. Okay, this is the only difference. So, it requires only the oxygen source. Air supply doesn't require this ventilator. Only the oxygen supply required. Okay, which we are getting from the, your from the, the uh, wall source. Yeah, from the air wall source. Okay, the next step, if you are going to turn on the vent, here we will have the power button. So you have to press this power button until you will get the white screen while you are making it turn on. And for making a turn off, you have to press it. It will ask you to stop it. Then you, you will make it confirm. Then it will be off. Okay? And the next, here we will have the power supply. This side. Which is getting from the your the 220 voltage. And the machine, this machine having inbuilt battery. Is, yeah. So if, uh, shut down the yeah, if the power is shut down, the machine, if suppose the machine is fully charged, it will give up for more than 4 hours. Now you can see here, it's showing charged. Meaning of the charge means, it's a fully charged. Oh. If it is remaining, the battery is remaining, then it will show charging. So now battery is fully charged. So if, bet, if the machine is connected with the power supply, you will see this button is, uh, this LED is green. If you remove, then it will become yellow. Okay, so the next, then you will see here, we do have two ports, this is the inspiratory, this is the expiratory, the inspiratory going to the patient, this is coming from the patient, okay, we will make a connection like this, and this is the peep wall, actualization wall, this mm -hmm. one, so whenever you are changing the patient or every 15 days, you can send it to the CSSD, for the cleaning, for the autoclave, okay. Then you will be have these two tubes for the flow sensor. You are using the proximal flow sensor. Proximal flow sensor will be connected over here to the patient area. Why we are using? Because the, some of the manufacturers they are using inbuilt flow sensor. 
and we are using the proximal because this is more accurate. If we are using inside the machine and we, if, suppose if you do have the leakage over here, the machine will not sense there is a leakage or not. Because if we are using here, then the machine will sense the flow over here. So that's why we are using this one. This is more accurate, proximal. Okay? Then you will have the pneumatic nebulization here. This is the pneumatic nebulization. Uh, we can give nebulization to the patient, to the machine. Uh, so we can connect the uh, yeah. nebulization. Yes. Uh, we are supplying you also the nebulization uh, tubes. Yeah, like that. Yeah, this is the tube. So this is the connector which you will connect to the inspiratory. Yeah, here, the inspiratory. Okay. You can remove here, then you can connect this T. Then you will make a connection. There is a one uh, small beaker which you will connect. And you can start from the menu. Mm. Okay. Then, and uh, this is the proximal. Uh, this is the one uh, auxiliary pressure. If you want to monitor, you know, any auxiliary pressure at the patient end, you can connect the tube over here. There is huh? tube also. Yeah. Then, then you will connect the tubes over here, like here. Okay. So There's tubes also there, or yeah, some of the breathing circuits. They will be have. Yes, yeah, you will get with the breathing circuit the tube. With tubes you can connect over here, and you can connect over here. So the machine will monitor your auxiliary pressure, exactly pressure what patient is getting the pressure. Okay. Then you will be have a two central monitoring channel. Ayo. This is CO2. CO2. And this, this is PO2. SPO2. CO2 you can use both sensor, main stream or side stream. Okay. And then this is the uh, SPO2, yeah, which we are using nail, uh, nail yes, color. Okay. So okay, this is the knobs for the rotating and making a confirmation for any values. If you want to make any change, this is the knob. Ah, okay. Okay, and you can make it confirm. Mm -hmm. So the next, suppose if you are going to start a ventilator, now it, it is going on in the standby. If you make a stop, you will get the standby screen. In the standby screen, you have to choose first patient, current patient or new patient. You have to select the new patient. Then machine will ask you. The Types of the patient, category of the patient, adult, pedia or neonate. You have to select the patient category. Then for the respective patient category, machine will ask you. For the adult and uh, adult, it will ask you the height of the patient. Okay. For the pedia and uh, adult, uh, sorry, neonate, it will ask you the weight of the patient. Okay. Then next step is the types of the connection. What kind of the connection we are using? Invasive or non-invasive? So you have to select the invasive or non-invasive. Whatever you are using the connection, you, you will select that one. Then you can apply. Okay, the next step is selecting the mods. Oh, okay. From the mod, you can select. We do have all the mods here in the ventilator. So here you will see what is the related to the patient. Okay, you will yes. have a mandatory mode, injective, spontaneous or adaptive. The adaptive mode is the latest mod. This is basically uh, the meaning of the idea means it will adapt the patient conditions. The machine itself have artificial intelligence. Okay? So, in this mode, the machine automatically will switch the mode. You have to simply enter the patient height. The rest of the things, machine automatically will change. Machine will monitor the patient conditions. What is the patient requirement? It will be changed automatically. Like now the machine, uh, the patient required volume control mode. So machine will change into the volume control mode. If patient requires the PCVT, machine automatically will change into the PCVT mode. So what you can do simply in the advanced mode is based on the minute volume. You have to change the minute volume percentage. The rest of the things machine will go automatically. And the problem, you are, it is based on the tidal volume. So you have to adjust the tidal volume percentage. The rest of the things machine will do automatically. The flow, pressure, IE ratio, mechanical breath, all things machine will monitor the, from the patient side and it will be changed. Okay, this is the latest mode. And the modes you will see what patient category you are selecting. So now we have selected the adult, so you will see what is suitable for the adult. All the modes you will see. If you choose PDA and uh, neonate, then you will see only what is related to the PDA and adult, uh, so neonate. Okay, so from the beginning while you are selecting the patient, you will, the machine will filter the things which is related to the particular patient category. Okay, then you after selecting all the mods, okay, once you select the mod, machine automatically will give you the settings. By default setting, you will get the preset values. 
and even after that if you want to select and if you want to edit the settings you can edit just go to here and make a changes i okay this is uh, which uh, you can change it then you can start the ventilation from the here you will see two buttons start the vent you will mm -hmm. see the uh, modes if you click you will start, start immediately, immediately. Mm -hmm. okay then from here you can see here here you will be have the alarm limits yeah. if there is any alarms just click over here and you can adjust the alarm limits the upper limit or lower limit okay, okay? then you will be have the menu buttons in the menu button suppose if you want to use spo2 and co2 you have to connect the sensor first to the patient then go to the menu from the menu you can spo yeah click over the spo2 and you and have, you have to make it, it enable it, it will be disable first you have to make it enable, enable. Uh, okay so it will seem there yeah it will start uh. the monitoring okay. either if, suppose if you are removing the sensor if you are removing the sensor uh. you should have to make it disable if you remove the sensor and you haven't make it disable the machine will give you the alarm uh. to stop the alarm so you have to make it disable okay so what accessories you are using you have to make by uh, by yourself you have to make it enable or disable the same thing for the capnography if you are oh, using yeah. the capnography you have to go there and you have to make it start okay mm -hmm. so once you connect the sensor it will be enable, enable mode enable yes okay the same things for the nebulization if you are doing the nebulization click here over the nebulization and you will make it start mm -hmm. enable us yeah yes the, Same things. This is the POX pressure. Suppose if you are using the POX pressure, you have to go in the POX, and you have to make it enable from the here. And while you are doing the zero, if you are making it enable, the POX sensor, so machine will ask you to make it zero because if you see now there is a, some variance, the curves. So you should have to make it zero first. Zero second. Yeah. Before connect to the tubes. If you connect the tubes and you are making the zero, then machine will not be have the exactly values. There is a variance, okay. So That's this one you have to make sure. Make sure it's the right. Yeah, it should be open and make a zero. Then you can connect it. Once you make a zero, it will be show the success. Okay. Can you bring one? Uh, then you can see here the event log. If you want to see the events, you click over here. It's the event. You will see all, all the events. All the events. Yeah, all the events. And you can filter the events also. It's for the. Uh, priorities high low other or mediums okay if you deselect suppose if you want to see only the high alarms then you filter yeah, yeah it's a filter you can filter it okay then again this is the trend this is the trend just click over here then you will see last 72 hours trend last 72 hours Suppose if you connect the ventilator before two days, so what was the trends? So all the trends you can see, mm -hmm. and this is the knob button from the knob. You can. Yeah, you can rotate it. You can scale the trend. And by your finger, you can also do it. Ah, that's okay. Good. The other things you can filter also the trends. Mm -hmm. Okay, like what kind of the trend you want to see? The minute volumes, tidal volumes, frequency, all the things you can filter. By the times also you can filter it. Okay. So while you are making it, it will show you. Like if you are making the scale, it will tell you the SPO2 interference detected. What exactly time it's happened? Date and times. It will show you over here. Okay. So you will be have last 72 hours time. Then you will be have the records. So while the ventilation is going on, you want to make a record for the particular moment. So the machine will make a record for last 30 seconds. so we can uh, we can uh... yeah from the here you can just click it over here then machine will start the recording from the here this is the record button okay then this is the screen shot you want to take a screen shot now the machine is giving the alarms and you want to make a screen shot just click over here machine will capture the photo and it will be stored into the memory mm, so we can print yeah you can export it we do have here the usb output to usb just insert the usb and take it out Okay, then here you will be have the O2. If you want to change the O2, oxygen percentage of the oxygen, you can change from the here. This is the pressure control, the tidal volume. Here, this is the time. This is the peep. Okay, then again go to the here, the menu. You click here the records. You will see the records, all the records with the dates. 
here it will showing you the latest one which we have done just now then you will be have the previous history also if you click over here it will be here you have to insert the usb and click here to export button then it will be going to the your usb and you can delete it also okay the same thing for the screen suit just click the screen suit no it's showing so you will be have the screen suit also you can save all and you can export into the usb once you insert the usb it will be take it out now we saving the all the screen suit in the memory now is done okay then this is the configuration about the device the gases the system log event log this machine have also suppose if you are using the machine as a portable with the cylinder so if you are using the normal mode because now it's high flow so you can make it low pressure oxygen if you make it enable this mode then machine need very less oxygen up to 2 bar is enough if you are putting up to 2 bars the machine will be run it doesn't require the high flow okay so this mode you can activate while you are using machine as a portable in the ambulance okay here you can adjust the your the brightness of the screen okay this is the time set this is the language and this is about the device okay then again you will have a manual inhale this is the manual if you click over here it will be start the manual inhale it will not be like uh, the permanently stop if you want to stop the ventilation just click over here it will be for manual inhale this is for ex acceleration halt if you want to stop the expiration just click over here it will be halt then this is the 100% oxygen for 2 minutes once you click over here the second you will see over here it will count okay then you will be have this is the mute button if there is any alarms you can mute it it will be mute for 2 minutes any alarms and this is the freeze button if you click over here you will freeze the screen so then you can monitor the particular movements the value of the uh, volume flow uh, pressure all these things you can scale by your finger you can scale and you can note down the readings okay now if you want to see here uh, the pressure pressure away now for the particular moment it's showing here 19.2 all these things you can scale then after uh, your study you can make it unfreeze okay then here it's showing the types of the patient under the weight of the patient at uh, 68 kg and this is the types of the connection what we are using endotracheal tube the diameter of the tube is 8 okay the, and here you will see the date Yeah, this date, and you can use stopwatch also. Suppose if you are doing any the suctioning or intubation support, you just click over here. The stopwatch will be start. Now stopwatch is working. Okay. Then you will be have the this is the volume button for the alarms. If you click over here, you will see the yeah. I am wearing this. So from the here you can adjust the loudness of the alarm. Okay. Then you will be have the uh, this oxygen pressure. Here it is showing your oxygen pressure at your wall. So what is the pressure? You can monitor over here. Okay. If there is any low pressure, machine will go alarm. So you can monitor the pressure is enough or not. Because you don't have the flowmeter over there, so from the here the machine you can monitor. Okay, then you will be have. A, this is the types of the connections like what we are using humidifier, HME and humidifier. Okay, now we are not using the humidifier, so just making a new humidifier. Here, while you are choosing the patient, if we have the HS integration. You can enter the patient name or details. So here you will see the patient name, and the patient is admitted or not like this. Yeah, and uh, this is for the lock button. If you want to make a lock. Just click over here. While you are doing the cleaning or anything, even you are using other transport, just make a lock. So if you make a lock, then if your finger is touching anywhere, it will not be work. Okay. Then you can here see the SpO2 and uh, CO2. You can monitor over here the first row, and then you will be have some different parameters. 
and suppose in this big uh, small screen if you want to see any different parameters you want to change now you don't know what is the oxygen concentration we are providing the 40 percent this is what we are providing but what patient exactly getting we don't know you want to see on the screen just click any parameters it will be you will see the new page from the new page you can click the pressure volumes oxygen everything so which you want just drop in drop out you click over here just take it over here like this Uh, like a mobile. Yeah. Yes. So the interface is really amazing. Yeah. Drop in, drop out. So you can see here. Okay. Then another. Now you have only the curves. If you want to see, if you want to make a change in the screen, so just click here. The page. Now we showing the page first. If you click over here, the page two will be appear. Then you will be have the ventilation graph. So this is the middle volume graph. Here you can see the dot. Meaning of the dot is the target, and the plus means current volume. Volume. So this current you can see over here, 6.80 liter per minute. Okay. Then this is the rectangle. So this plus and dot should be lie between the rectangle. It is lying between the rectangle means your ventilation is safe. Okay. If it is going beyond the, this graph, this curve means it's a danger for the patient. You have to take care of the condition of the patient. Okay. Here you can see the between the graphs. Now another thing, if you want to change something else again, so just click over here. If you want to see the lung monitor, just click over here. Now we will be have the lung monitor. You can customize the screen. You can customize it. Okay, and if you want to see the loops, you can click over here. You will be have the loops. Okay, so you can customize it as per your choice, and then you can have the more space. If you click here again, then you will have a big fund to uh, monitor from the outside, to the far distance. Okay, then you will be have small, small curves and the big fund. Okay, again, if you want to make a, some customization again, then you have to go here the menu view button. This is the view. Just click over here. From the here, you can choose the screen. Touch of the screen. If you want to see the for loops over here, just click over here and make it apply. Mm. Then you will be have a different screen. Yes, yeah. you will be have a loop, the lung monitor, and the small small curves. Okay, and you can maximize it. Now it's showing the minimize. If you want to make it maximize, just click over here. It will be maximize for all and for here. You can minimize or maximize. For another screen, you have to go again the view button. For this this screen don't have the touch. This screen you should have to operate from the main screen. Okay. So if you want to operate this screen, now you have the curves and loops. So you have to click here the view button. Then you will be have a uni screen. This uni screen. Click yeah. This is the uni screen. Then you will be have a two two types of the screen. One is the curve and loops. One is the numerics. If you click here the numerics. Then you will see all the numerics. Yeah, all the values you you will monitor from this screen. So, P value, P mean, P drive, all the plateau pressure, all things you can monitor. And again, if you want to curves and loops, just click over here. Then you will have a loops and curves. Okay. And here you can customize. Like here you have the loops, and you want to see the some different. So for that you have to click over here, okay? Then you will click over here the vent tables. Then you will be have a vent tables. Okay. From the here. Again. If you want to click, just click over here. You will be have the table. Mm -hmm. Then, like if you want to see the lung monitor, just click over here. Uh, then. Uh, this is showing exactly the patient heart. How is inhaling or exhaling? Understood? Yeah. Good. So this is how to operate the vent. If there is any alarms, you go to the alarms menu. What's the alarm? 
this is the vent alarms and uh, this is the extension alarm system now we showing this alarms we will make it less this is the uh, this is the extension sensor for the hpo2 and okay, okay. yeah okay. see this is the extension limit or this is the vent limits now if you want to see the ventilation just click over here just click over here then you will be see the, the alarms for the ventilator if you want to see the spo2 and co2 alarm just click over here then you will have this limits again this is the vent limits okay. ventilators alarms limits okay. then you can adjust if there is any alarms related to the ventilator parameters you can adjust from this and if the alarms is related to the spo2 and co2 you have to click over here mm -hmm. then you will be have the the co2 spo2 pi or pulse rate so these alarms you can adjust and if you want to change any modes just click here over the modes mm -hmm. the mode will be available mm -hmm. then you can select ah. any mode then machine will be change the mode mode for the mode yeah yeah How to install it? It's a very important, yeah. It's uh, here in this in this way, yeah. If you see, you have yeah. like the way. Mm -hmm. You fit the. Yeah, fit here and right. push, push and the push. Okay. It's now is locked, huh. and the the machine is uh, already know how is the value. Yeah. Okay, then so, uh, you regulate. You can regulate 500 ml. Uh, okay, but. Okay. Then we uh, then we get no no start down. again flow yes it's it's now written yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then, yeah. then we can this yes one. Then. it's written again okay. now we're ready to start you can start, start. Mm -hmm. ah okay you have a value mm -hmm. the time the time is and one uh, how many uh, hours, the, value the value given put it in the patient yeah. oh, okay. okay now it's good. Yes. Can you close and try by yourself, please? Yes. Keep it here to, to learn, yeah. Yeah. No, so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Install okay. one, No, no. It's open, open. Okay. and the bowl. If there is a sound like that, meaning you didn't press the... No, the properly. Yes. Open? But we, you can install after we open. It's a better, yeah. To to the device, to know how is the value, yeah. It's a for f f fifty milli or twenty or. Okay, okay. I think only fifty yeah. is per syringe. So you can put only fifty there. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can put only fifty. Yes. Because syringe is fifty only. No, no. Uh, you can use the other, but so. Yeah. No. Now you start. It's now the other time to delivery is this time and warning signal. So it's not. You know, but still, still we are looking in some of this. Yeah. Oh yes, it is. It is managed. I try to bring the other people. I talked to them yesterday. And he said he will check the first time. Mm -hmm. If he has, I told him enough. 10, 15. Huh? different syringe we are using. So mm -hmm. We are confusing yeah. the other one. Yeah. Waiting. Everything you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just green? To, uh, like that. Thermopop. 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 Yeah. Give me and you can use it. Yeah. Thermopop. Okay. They use using Thermopop. Oh. Huh? They use using Thermopop. Thermopop, yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, open, open the lock. No, yes. Then pull. This is very soft. Yes. And this twisted. Yes, slowly. No, no, open. Open. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. And there? But you know, I prefer to. I know. Admission order, then. Florid. Florid. Come the promotion. Yeah. Yes. Then start. Okay. Alas. You try with your hand, Yani. Ah, okay. Close. Because you should cancel the running first and then... Yes. Okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. Open? Open first. And the ball? Uh, the, oh, it's a soft, it's a soft, yeah. Uh, huh? no. then this uh, yes, this open. Like ball? Like yes. Ball. Yes, this. Okay. Yes, I, I prefer to run in the machine and then put it in the, the pump, uh, the series. I no? Uh, yes? No, no. Ah, okay. Ah, you should. According to our end user. Okay. It's always mistake. Yes, switching. Yes, yes. And by force, you know, it's simple. I will follow them. Yeah. Yes, yes. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes. Okay. Yes. No, it's between time, 10 minutes. Yeah. Then start, sir? Huh? Yes. Thanks. Okay. It's one of the best sellers in 2020. We sold more than 5,000. I think the rest from this one. It's very basic and we will go and we will start up uh, by the exterior. Here you have 6.5 inches LCD colored uh, screen. Uh, here you have the knob for uh, choosing the tools, AED, mm. monitor, and also the basic check for the defibrillator. Here you have the status indicator. It will be green if the defibrillator is ready to use and if it's, everything is fine. It will be red if there is something wrong with the uh, defibrillator and the defibrillator will not work, okay? Mm. Here you can see one, two, three, which is the basic step for choosing the jewels, charging and discharging. Here you have the cable for the paddles and you can disconnect it by clicking on the other side. Okay. Okay. And then when you want to put it again, you just have to press and here the click. We do have another cable and they have it in the biomed. It's for the pads, the yeah, disposable yeah, pads, yeah. yes. It's the same exact like this one, but at the end it can be connected to the, to the disposable pads, okay? And you can just attach it the same way we attach these. I will try to bring it. So okay, with, with one of the disposable pads also. Okay, okay? okay. Our disposable pads are compatible for adult and media. Same pad mm. for both. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh. So you don't have to purchase more than one type, it's only one type for adult and for both. Yeah. So now for the paddles, it's for the adult here and you can basically change it to media by pressing ah, this. Ah, ma nice. Much better. Nice. 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 The other one it's so hard. <laughs> Very hard. Yes. Yeah. Can, you, yeah. can you remove yeah. it again? How? Just to press. Ah, ah nice. nice. Then nice. put it you back. Put it and can you try? Okay. Yeah, wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. You like the idea. Oh, oh my God! Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easy, easy. Oh para, para. Yeah. Just press this one. Oh, okay. You just nice, have nice. to press and yeah. try. Press. Okay. Press, press, and, press and, pull. and pull. And then push. And then push, and then push again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. okay. Okay. So there is another thing that yani, it helps the nurses a lot when you put the gel on the bottles uh -huh. and mm. the patient is not ready yet for mm. the shock. You just can keep the bottles. Oh, like this. Ah, nice, nice. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> like there. Yeah. yeah, because so sometimes it's already charged. There is the gel, but it's not directly contacted okay. the patient. Mm. You can just keep it like this. Okay. It will hold up until <laughs> 1 minute and 30 seconds mm. until you go and charge, uh, okay. discharge the patient. Okay? Mm. Also, there's another thing. I'm going to show you it in a minute when we turn on the defibrillator, but it is this one. This is an indicator of contact. Oh. 
Okay. Uh -huh. So if the bottles are not contacted directly to the patient in the right way, it's going to turn red. Mm -hmm. If it's contacted good with the patient, it's going to be green. 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 Oh. Okay. So I'm just going to put it back. And you can see here, there is number two also here for the charging. charging. It's the same. So you can charge basically from here or from here. Mm -hmm. And the discharge for the bottles, you have to discharge from the bottle themselves, not from here. Okay? Oh, here you can discharge one. when you are using the pads. pads. Oh, okay. But yeah, for yeah. the bottles, you have to discharge from the bottles themselves. Okay. okay? So from this side, we have a part for the SD card. You can use SD, an SD yeah. card mm -hmm. here. You just have to purchase it from any library. It's totally fine. We do have the specification for it. Here you have the recorder, recorder uh, paper. compartment. If you want to open it, you just have to pull mm -mm. up. Then you can see this is the paper. The same um, that we are using. I don't know paper. what is the one that size. you have. Maybe because otherwise you have to request for a new... It already comes, I think, three rolls with each uh, different. Yeah. So you just have to make sure that the orange side is up oh, yes. and the paper is in between these space, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's thermally okay. printed, so thermal, you don't yeah. have any ink or anything. You just have to put it on the side. Then make sure it is in the middle. Then just to close. A same line should be there. Mm. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So from the side, that's it. From the other side here, you have the ECG cables. For the ECG here, you have the five or the six only. And here you have the three. So you can just mix, uh, mix and match. Mm. If you want the three here and the six here, you can just remove it. And put mm. it. Because it our uh, uh, adapters yes. are universal. So mm. whatever you remove from this, you can attach oh, to so this. And so so on. On. Okay. For here, this is the ECG adapter, and this is the ECG leads, and here also you have the colors Tracer. for the We're attachment good. for the patient, okay? And you will see it also in the mm. monitor, so it has a manual guide. Okay, for here, there is nothing right now, but in, like next week, you will have an SPO2 port, mm -hmm. like this one, exactly, the with the adapter. Okay. You will have that here. Here, this, no this part is going to be machine. opened oh, okay. and then, no, 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 the oh, same one, same. because oh. they requested it with the SPO2, but we don't have the module in Hobart, so they are bringing the module from Jeddah and they will install it here, oh, okay. okay, so they do have the module, yeah. okay, so it's going to be with an SPO2 also, so ECG and SPO2, in the future you can add also CO2 if you want, so it's, it's going to be, the ports will be there, but you just have to purchase the adapter itself, yeah. From the back side, you just have the two batteries in here mm. and the power plug. Uh, yeah, the power. Okay, so this is for everything from the outside. Mm. You can see here it's for the pacing. Mm -mm. All this for the pacing, so you just turn it on and off. You change the milliampere and also the pacing uh, rate. Okay, for here, if we want to turn on the monitor, uh, turn on the defibrillator as the oh. monitor, you can see it's monitor here. Just go to that. Here, you can see that we do have the alarm indicator or the lamp alarm indicator. For the alarm. Yeah, okay. it has three different colors and oh, four different colors actually. Uh, blue, uh, orange, red, and green of the patient uh, status yeah, is stable. Blue okay. is? It's the normal, when you turn it on, it's mm. just not connected to any patient. Oh, okay. So if you want to like put the synchronization or anything, mm. it's not going to show you anything here because there is no waveform, it's not connected to a patient. Okay, so if I chose like uh, this defibrillator goes from 2 to 270 by phasing. The most commonly used is 150. Mm. So we already highlighted that for you. Mm. Uh, you can see we have the AAD for adult as well as a child AAD. So you can choose either you want it for adult or PD. I'm going to yeah. show you how in a minute. So if this is turned off, 
and you can use the AAD. You just have to go AAD. directly AAD. Yeah. Adult mode. Use disposable pads. And she will keep repeating that you have to use disposable use pads. Use disposable until pads. You remove this one and you put the disposable pads. She has a sensor. Use she will disposable repeat. pads. She will repeat it over and over again. Okay? Yeah. Use okay. disposable pads. <laughs> Finish. And uh, good news, you cannot mute use it. Use disposable pads. You cannot mute it. We cannot, uh, okay. we cannot do like that to them? <laughs> no. To the machine? Unfortunately, no. You can lower the voice, uh, uh, but how? the volume, it's I'm going to show you in a minute, <laughs> but you cannot mute it at all. And she will go through the steps one by one until you deliver the shock to the patient, fully guide. Okay, but what if you want to give it to a child, then you have to press, maybe it's off, you have to press the child AED, then you have to move it to the AED. So I'm going to press, I'm going to press. Press it before you turn it to AED. Child mode. Mm. If patient is an adult, set the control dial to AED without pressing the child mode button. Use disposable pads. Yeah, she will not stop. <laughs> okay. Use disposable pads. Okay. Maybe uh, we want to try a, just a normal shock, maybe like 10. Mm. Let's say 10. And we want to give it to, uh, to the patient with syn synchronization. So you just have to press synchronize here. Yeah. However, it's gonna show you that there is no ECG connected to the patient mm. or there is no waveform, so you cannot basically use that synchronization. If you want to turn it off, just put it back. But uh, however, if you press, uh, press the synchronization and it works, uh, this one will light blue. So it just tell you that the synchronization is working. Right now, there is no waveform, so basically it's not gonna work. I'm gonna charge it like 10. I'm gonna choose to charge it from here, so charge. Then, if it turns, I give the shock. Mm -hmm. The defibrillator itself, it has an internal uh, uh, resistance, so it's okay for me to use the, the, the buttons on the same machine. Okay, some defibrillator does not have internal uh, Okay, so we just tried the 10. Maybe I want to charge it from here and discharge it from here. Okay, I just told you about the indicator here. You can see now it's green because it's already contacted mm -hmm. to the defibrillator. Even if I connect it to the patient and it's very good contact, it's going to show green. But now, in the for the defibrillator, if you just put it on setup, you can see you have the ECG. Maybe we can go to the ECG. And you can change just the HR, PR, alarms, and everything. Let's go up. Okay, you can just put it the up mm, limit and lower limit. If you want to go back, just press menu. You can go, if you want to change the volume, as you said, you can just go to here. Device setup and volume down okay and you can change it like use disposable use disposable pads this is okay then you can go to the next one increase or decrease it's up to you then you can go to the menu also you have test uh, self test setup if you go to the self test setup you can choose uh, Every what time do you want the deep operator makes the self test by its own? Oh, but it's oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. when it's off, when it's on, every time. So I feel that it's not yeah. yeah. connected to the power. When you turn it off, uh, when you turn it on every single time, it, it will, will print make out every 12 hours the self test. It, it can it print and it also it can have the test results in the machine. It's, it's and it will same. print. Yeah. Ah, okay, nice. Okay. No need to put it Yeah. So you can choose uh, uh, like the lower, how we will choose the time. Uh, you cannot choose a specific time, but you can choose mm. how many hours. Like now, twelve, 12 hours. hours. Uh -huh. Maybe you can choose it. Yeah, it's hours. up to you. Twelve hours every shift. Yeah. 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 So we will start this one at seven o'clock. Then we will set at twelve. Twelve hours. So every seven o'clock, it yeah. will um test. Yeah. You say test. Exactly. Oh, it will test if it's on. If it's on and if it's off. Mm -hmm. uh, even if it's yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. You can choose the, the recording setup, the interval, and everything from here also. 
So this is basically all the details for the doctor to decide what they want specifically to be printed or the, uh, the shop delivered or everything. Okay, I'm gonna just go out. So here you can see lead, mm -hmm. here sensitivity, here event and freeze. For the lead, you have to choose it. If you press, you will see here lead one, mm -hmm. lead two, lead three, and so on until you get the one that you want. For the sensitivity, it's the same thing. Now it's one. If I press, it's gonna be 0 0.5, 0 0.25. It's up yani, to the doctor. Freeze, if I want to freeze everything on the monitor. And here we have a guide. It's gonna tell you exactly what mm. to do and how to do it. Next, what are these and how can you connect the ACG? Close. Here, this is for the alarm silence. If you want to silent the alarm, you just have to press this one. And this one for the recorder. Um, I press it and it's gonna print, print, print. Mm. It's not gonna stop until I press back. Uh, okay. okay. And if yani, you do anything to the patient or you give a shot, it's going to start printing until you finish the shot for the patient, then it's going to turn it back off. Okay, so 5,600. It's one of the best sellers in 2020. We sold more than 5,000 people donated from this one. It's very basic, and we will go and we will start up by the exterior. Here you have 6.5 inches LCD colored uh, screen. Uh, here you have the knob for uh, choosing the rules, AED, uh -huh. monitor, and also the basic check for the defibrillator. Here you have the status indicator. It will be green if the defibrillator is ready to use and if it's, everything is fine. It will be red if there is something wrong with the uh, defibrillator and the defibrillator will not work. Okay? Uh -huh. Here you can see one, two, three, which is the basic step for it's choosing the jewels, charging and discharging. Here you have the cable for the paddles and you can disconnect it by clicking on the other side. Okay. And then when you want to put it again, you just have to press and hear the click. We do have another cable and they have it in the environment. It's for the pads, the disposable pads, yes. It's the same exact like this one, but at the end it can be connected to the, to the disposable pads, okay? And you can just attach it the same way we attach this. I will try to bring it. So okay, with, with one of the disposable pads also. Okay, okay? Disposable. Our disposable pads are compatible for adults and media. Same pad mm. for both. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. no. So you don't have to purchase more than one type. It's only one type for adults and for media. Both. Yeah. So now for the paddles, it's for the adult here, and you can basically change it to media by pressing. Ah, pressing. ah ma, nice. much better. Nice. 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 So the other one, it's so hard. <laughs> Very hard. Yeah. Can, you, yeah. can you remove yeah. it again? How? Just to press. Ah, ah nice. nice. Then put it you back. Put it and. Can you try? Okay. Yeah, wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. Do you like that? Oh. oh my god! Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easy, easy. Oh para, para. <laughs> just press this one. Oh, oh. Okay. You just nice, have nice. to press and pull. Yeah. Yeah. Press. Okay. press and, and, press and, pull. and pull. And then push. And then push. push again. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. okay. Yes. So there is another thing that yani, it helps the nurses a lot when you put the gel on the bottles uh -huh. and mm. the patient is not ready yet for mm. the shock. You just can keep the bottles. Oh, like ah, nice, nice. Oh, <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, because so sometimes I need to There is the gel, but it's not directly contacted the ah, patient. Mm. You can just keep it like this. Okay. It will hold up until <laughs> 1 minute and 30 seconds mm. until you go and charge, okay. uh, discharge the patient. Okay? Mm. Also, there's another thing. I'm going to show you it in a minute when we turn on the defibrillator, but it is this one. This is an indicator of contact. Okay. Uh -huh. So if the bottles are not contacted directly to the patient in the right way, it's going to turn red. Mm -hmm. and if it's contacted good with the patient, it's going to be green. 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 Oh. Okay. So I'm just going to put it back. And you can see here, there is number two also here for the charging. charging. It's the same. So you can charge basically from here or from here. Mm -hmm. And the discharge for the paddles, you have to discharge from the paddle themselves, not from here, okay? Oh, here you can discharge one. when you are using the paddles. Oh, okay. But for the paddles, you have to discharge from the paddles themselves, okay? 
So from this side, we have a part for the SD card. You can use yes, an yeah. SD card mm -hmm. here. You just have to purchase it from any library. It's totally fine. We do have a specification for it. Here you have the recorder uh, compartment. If you want to open it, you just have to pull mm -mm. up. Then you can see this is the Paper. The same um, that we are using. I don't the know paper. what is the one the that you have. The Maybe. Because it's otherwise 50. you have to request for a new... It already mm -hmm. comes, I think, three rolls with each uh, defect. Okay. Yeah. So you just have to make sure that the orange side is up oh, yes. and the paper is in between these space. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it's thermal okay. printed, so thermal, you don't yeah. have any ink or anything. You just have to put it on the side then make sure it is in the middle then just to close. assume line should be there mm. okay okay yeah. so from the side that's it from the other side here you have the ECG cables for the ECG here you have the five or the six only and here you have the three so you can just mix, uh, mix and match if you want the three here and the six here, you can just remove it and mm. put it. Because our uh, uh, adapters yes. are universal. So mm. whatever you remove from this, you can attach oh, to so this and so on. Okay. For here, this is the ECG adapter and this is the ECG leads. And here also you have the colors Tracer. for the We're attachment for the patient. Okay. And you will see it also in the mm. monitor. So it has a manual guide. Okay, for here, there is nothing right now, but in, like next week, you will have an SPO2 port, mm -hmm. like this one, exactly, the with the adapter. Uh, okay. You will have that here. This, this part is going to be opened, oh, okay. and then, no, 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 the same oh, one, same? because oh. they requested it with the SPO2, but we don't have the module in Kobert, so they are bringing the module from Jeddah, and they will install it here. Oh, okay. okay, so they do have the module, yes. okay? So it's gonna be with an SPO2 also. So ECG and SPO2. In the future, you can add also CO2 if you want. So it's, it's gonna be, the ports will be there, but you just have to purchase the adapter itself. Yeah. From the back side, you just have the two batteries in here and the power plug. Uh, yeah, the power. Okay, so this is for everything from the outside. Mm. You can see here it's for the pacing. Mm -mm. All this for the pacing. So you just turn it on and off. You change the milliampere and also the pacing uh, rate. Okay. For here, if we want to turn on the monitor, uh, turn on the defibrillator as the oh. monitor, you can see it's monitor here. Just go to that. Here you can see that we do have the alarm indicator or the lamp alarm indicator. For the alarm. Yeah, it has three different colors and oh, four different colors actually. Uh, blue, uh, orange, red, and green of the patient uh, status is stable. Blue okay. is. It's the normal when you turn it on, it's mm. just not connected to any patient. Oh, okay. So, if you want to like put the synchronization or anything, mm. it's not going to show you anything here because there is no waveform, it's not connected to a patient. Okay, so if I chose like uh, this defibrillator goes from 2 to 270 by phasing, the most commonly used is 150. Mm. So, we already highlighted that for you. Mm. Uh, you can see we have the AAD for adult as well as a child AAD. So you can choose either you want it for adult or PD. I'm going to show you how in a minute. So if this is turned off and you're going to use the AAD, you just have to go AAD. directly AAD. Adult mode. Use disposable pads. And she will keep repeating that you have to use disposable use pads. Disposable until pads. You remove this one and you put the disposable pads. She has a sensor. Use she will disposable repeat. pads. She will repeat mm -hmm. it over and over again. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Use yeah. disposable pads. <laughs> <You> like <laughs> and uh, good news, you cannot mute use it. Use disposable You cannot mute it. We cannot, oh. okay. we cannot do like that to them? <laughs> no. To the machine? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. 
You uh, can lower the voice, uh, uh, so how? the volume. It's I'm going to show you in a minute. <laughs> but you cannot mute it at all. And she will go through the steps one by one until you deliver the shock to the patient. Fully guide. Okay, but what if you want to give it to a child? Then you have to press, maybe it's off. You have to press the child AED, then you have to move oh, it to the AED. Okay. So I'm gonna press. I'm gonna press. Press it before you turn it to AED. Child mode. Oh. If patient is an adult, set the control dial to AED without pressing the child mode button. Use disposable pads. Yeah, she will not stop. <laughs> okay. Use disposable pads. Okay. Maybe. Use uh, disposable. We want to try a, just a normal shock, maybe like 10, mm. let's say 10. And we want to give it yeah, yeah, to the patient with synchronization. So you just have to press mm. synchronize here. Yeah. However, it's going to show you that there is no ECG connected to the patient mm. or there is no waveform, so you cannot basically use that synchronization. If you want to turn it off, just put it back. But uh, however, if you press the, uh, press the synchronization and it works, uh, this one will light blue. So it just tell you that the synchronization is working. Right now, there is no waveform, so basically it's not going to work. I'm going to charge it like 10. I'm going to choose to charge it from here, so charge. Then it turns. I get the shock. Mm -hmm. The defibrillator itself, it has an internal uh, uh, resistance, so it's okay for me to use the, the, the buttons on the same machine. Okay, some defibrillator does not have internal uh, resistance. Okay, so we just tried the 10. Maybe I want to charge it from here and discharge it from here. Okay, I just told you about the indicator here. You can see now it's green because it's already contacted mm -hmm. to the defibrillator. Even if I connect it to the patient and it's very good contact, it's gonna show green. But now, in the for the defibrillator, if you just put it on setup, you can see you have the ECG. Maybe we can go to the ECG. And you can change just the HR, PR, alarms, and everything. Let's go up. Okay, you can just put it the mm -hmm. upper limit and lower limit. Yeah. If you want to go back, just press menu. You can go, if you want to change the volume, as you said, mm -hmm. you can just go to here. Mm -hmm. Device setup ah, and right. volume. Go down. Okay. And you can change it like. Use disposable, use disposable pads. This is okay. Then you can go to the next one. Increase or decrease, it's up to you. Then you can go to the menu. Also, you have test uh, self test That's setup. If you go to the self test setup, you can choose uh, every what time do you want the deep operator makes the self test by its own. Oh, by oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When it's off, when it's on, every time. So I think it's no, no, yeah. not connected to the power. When you turn it off, uh, when you turn it on every single time, it, it will paint out every 12 hours the self test. It, it can it print and it also it can have the. Test results and the machine. It's, it's and it will safe. print. Yeah. Ah, okay, nice. Okay. No need to put it. Yeah. So you can choose. Uh, uh, like the lower, how we will choose the time? Uh, you cannot choose a specific time, but you can choose mm. how many hours. Like now, 12, 12 hours. hours. Maybe you can increase it. Yeah. I thought that was 12 hours. Every ship. Yeah. 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 So we will start this one at 7 o'clock, then we will set at 12. 12 hours. So every 7 o'clock. It yeah. will um, test, yeah. you say test. Exactly. Oh, it will test if it's on. If it's on and if it's off. Mm -hmm. uh, even if it's yeah. On. yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. okay. You can choose the, the recording setup, the interval, and everything <laughs> from here also. So this is basically all the details for the doctor to decide what they want specifically to be printed or the, uh, the shock delivered or everything. Okay, I'm gonna just go out. So here you can see lead, mm. here sensitivity, here event, and freeze. For the lead, you have to choose it. If you press, you will see here lead one, mm. lead two, lead three, and so on until you get the one that you want. For the sensitivity, it's the same thing. Now it's one. If I press, it's going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.25. It's up yeah, to the 
that's it. Freeze if I want to freeze everything on the monitor. And here we have a guide. It's gonna tell you exactly what mm. to do and how to do it. Next, what are these and how can you connect the ACG? Close. Here, this is for the alarm silence. If you want to silence alarm, you just have to press this one. And this one for the recorder. Um, I press it and it's gonna print, oh, okay. print, print. It's not gonna stop until I press back. Uh, okay. okay. And if yani, you do anything to the patient or you give a shot, it's going to start printing until you finish the shot for the patient, then it's going to turn it back off. Okay, so 